and by the magic of television, <laughs> well, don't you look just like you did in the last vlog. <laughs> Sorry, I... Yeah, I know. I was so sick of looking like non-showered for 36 hours, grubby PR that... Ta-da! 0.5 seconds and I'm holiday ready. So we arrived at the hotel last night. It was super dark and we were so exhausted. We just crashed. Today is the next day and it is beautiful. So first things first, we do want to show you this hotel because it is incredible. <laughs> This is pretty cool. I need to definitely show you guys these yachts because <laughs> there's an enormous amount of wealth just floating over there right now. Check this out. <laughs> bubbling pool at the front of this house. <laughs> Look at that. Oh, just... <laughs> chop chop here. Breakfast time. One of us is very hungry. <laughs> have you even shown anyone the buffet here? Guys, this buffet is epic. You have to, you have to do a little buffet tour. I think this might be the best buffet I've had in a hotel. Maybe ever. That might be because I like Greek food a lot, but... It's pristine. It's like the food here on the island is so fresh that even like basic ingredients are just so full of flavor. It's so amazing. Like the tomatoes here, so good. I'm obsessed with tomatoes anyway, so like... They're actually really sweet. They're so yum. You know like when you get like rubbish tomatoes, they're kind of soft and squishy. Yeah. These are hard and crisp. Oh, they're just so good. I don't even <laughs> like vegetables. I want to show you what, what we got. Apple, peach, pear and pineapple. Oh, yeah. I had the I had this one yesterday. I don't know what it is. Strawberry? No, carrot, oh. tomato, celery and beetroot. You had that? Yeah, it was really good. That's so unlike you. It was like a soup. <laughs> yeah. So you've got boiled eggs. You can either have soft boiled or hard boiled. Eggs. And look, they're like in little sand. So weird. <laughs> it's like they're just fresh beach eggs. And then I've been going absolutely nuts over these mushrooms. You've got some sausages. You've got a bunch of vegetables over here. Bacon. These things are amazing. Yeah, these I don't even like, know what they are. They're like cheese pockets. <laughs> mm -mm. I had this one with the spinach. Spinach pocket. They are so yum. That was good. Some sort of Greek pastry. Then over here you've got all your cold meats, cheeses. Just a few selections. And these tomatoes are oh, the yeah, best tomatoes right. I've ever tasted in my entire life. Yep, they're the ones. I like. I literally have been getting like a whole plate of tomatoes. And it's <laughs> oh, so good. Over here we have... Oh, I didn't see this yesterday. Cereal bars. Hey, well, this is kind of the section that I need to steer away from if I'm trying to get ready for the wedding. Oh yeah, <laughs> cake and croissant. It's such a tease. Then over here you've got waffles. You've got all the different granolas and mueslis. And look at this. Oh my I mean, that's, goodness. That's Are Nutella, you, right? Is it? Is yeah. it Nutella? It smells like it. Look, tahini, cocoa, tahini. Oh, almond cream. What are these things? And then you've got all your jams, just a few. Peach, framboise, which I think is strawberries. Apple, apricot, fig, forest. Oh no, there's strawberry and cherry. And look at this, different honeys. Thyme honey. Masticha, Chios honey, flower honey, and orange honey. How are they making honey from oranges? No, they're like, it's like orange mixed with honey. Oh. <laughs> it's like orange infused. Okay. And this is something that has blown my mind. I haven't had any, but it's oh. just chocolate milk. So this is the restaurant. You've got like a open area, a covered area, a pool if you fancy a dip. This is where we spent all day yesterday. And then you've got a bar, and probably the most amazing thing is, that's the ocean. The whole decor of it, it's kind of got like this 
desert chic kind of vibe. I love it so much. I swear I want to like build our dream house to look exactly like this. So we're in Namos village which is about 10 minutes south of the main town um, and it's kind of a little private beach area I guess except there is a big day club which is a little bit crazy but look at all of the beach lounges. I don't think I've ever seen so many lounges in my whole life. And you may have noticed that Kane and I keep waking up when nobody else is here because we're waking up normally at like 7am and everybody here just parties through the night and doesn't wake up till like midday. So this isn't like a remote area. Like no. this, every lounge here is like occupied by about midday. I don't know if you can really grasp how many beach lounges there are but they are super close like there's like a foot gap between each lounge and I think I'm right in saying each lounge is 150 euros a day to rent. 75 euro a day so two is 150. Oh, man. That is... So you'd be better off just staying at this hotel and getting these lounges for free. <laughs> That's something that really kills me because we're from Australia and we I mean legitimately completely unbiased have the best beaches in the world and you don't have to pay to get on the beach yeah, so when I come to free. Europe and you have to pay it, it it hurts. Yeah. It hurts in my heart. Just but it's a worth bit. it. It's worth it. Uh... You join us mid bizarre. <laughs> this camera dropped on that foot. I probably should put the camera down and be a good boyfriend. First oh. thing you do is don't touch my leg. What is wrong with you? Can you see this bruising in front of your eyes? This my... camera weighs less than like 400 grams. Oh. She dropped it from here and she got it out of the case like so. It dropped oh. about 60 centimeters. Can you actually give me some sympathy please? Oh. Hello, blow Hello. on it. I'm not gonna... <laughs> Put my face anywhere near your feet. <laughs> <laughs> I've never believed in karma before. <laughs> Kane didn't show me any sympathy a minute ago when I hurt my foot and now he's stubbed his toe. <laughs> like really badly, I was filming and I just, I didn't see a step and I just slammed my toe right into it. <laughs> and now he wants sympathy but guess who's not going to get it? <laughs> uh, it really hurts, like probably way worse than your injury. No way, a stubbed toe and a full weight dropping on a foot. I think ah. my entire body mass weighs more than this camera. <laughs> so me kicking something with all my muscular weight behind me <laughs> would have hurt a lot more. So much velocity. Yeah, momentum. I got a Bloody Mary, not because I'm hungover, but just because I like them. <laughs> Pia likes to convince herself that because there's a tomato in it, that she's being healthy. <laughs> no, I just like, I don't know, as I get older, I'm liking savoury things a lot more than sweet things. That's so I fine. just keep, is that like a common thing? You don't thing? need to make it so My tastes are changing and I just want like, I just want tomato juice. You're just trying to lie to yourself, that's all it is. <laughs> well, this just doesn't seem like alcohol as much as like a mojito. <laughs> oh, thank you so much. Thank you. Yeah, well, I got it's a like mojito. It's like a salad, basically. I got this because, you know, I've got my waistline <sighs> to think of. So good. <laughs> Mojito's not for your waistline. Yeah, look, it's clear. That means there's no sugar in it. <laughs> it's like Sprite. <laughs> yeah. I don't think there's any sugar in it. Yeah. There definitely is. After this, we have to switch to vodka, lime, soda. So this morning, we already did a bunch of our emails and we literally laid there with our laptops under an umbrella and did all our work. Hmm. So this whole not having a home thing is Working out pretty nicely so far. <laughs> this is far more expensive than our rent though. Yeah. This isn't, this isn't cost effective. It's midday by the way. Yeah, I have had breakfast. Don't stop. <laughs> oh my god, I literally like, as a teenager, that was my jam. Like, that was all my jam. R&B music, the fact that Christina Milian likes my photos is so insane. Should we try and arrange a collaboration? <laughs> Should I just try and be in her next music video? <laughs> I don't I don't think that would go well. It wouldn't, would it? We've all seen your dance. I have no rhythm. So we've just finished all of our emails for the day, which is great. We've got some very special friends coming, which um, if you saw our Thailand vlog from a couple of weeks ago, 
we mentioned that there was a couple of friends called Pete and Caitlin who we haven't seen for five years since going on holiday with them. <laughs> Perhaps we are very, very obnoxious people to go on holiday with. <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> I don't really know. As it turns out, we're not that obnoxious. <laughs> and um, Pete messaged me and said, hey, listen, we're actually going to Mykonos in two weeks. Do you want to come? And that's why we're here now, which is, which is really great. Um, so they're going to come and have a drink with us in a moment and I'll be able to introduce you them to the vlog. In <laughs> introduce them to you. How do you say that? And I'll be able to introduce you to them. Introduce you to them. I think Pete and Caitlin have just arrived, so we're going to go find them. They probably won't want to be on the vlog because they're not, <laughs> they're not that sort of person. But still, I'll do my best to try. Oh, look who it is! It took five years to get these guys back on the vlog. Here we are. Here we are. <laughs> so yeah, we had a conversation straight after the last vlog, and we were like, oh man, we really haven't seen you guys in so long, so we thought, well, let's arrange a holiday and that's what we've done and so now we're here with Pete and Caitlin and um, yeah we're just having a good time here in Mykonos. Why photos. is there such a height difference between you two right He's now? a lot taller than me. <laughs> plus, I'm, plus I'm sitting on a booster seat. Probably. Oh I see. I feel like I should be on that seat. <laughs> afternoon and Mykonos has officially woken up. Yeah, everything gets going at like six. There's me and her up at like eight in the morning wondering why no one's around. <laughs> now I know why. So we thought we would go and check out Mykonos, is it Mykonos town? Mykonos Old Town. We're gonna go check out Mykonos Old Town and try and get like some traditional food for dinner. and explore Mykonos town a little bit and we want to try and get some really beautiful fresh local Greek food. I really want to try the gyros, I think it's called gyros or gyros. But they don't say the G, they say gyros. 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 I really want to try it because I've had them in Australia and they're great. So we're on a mission this evening to get gyros, which is like um, a Greek pita soft bread wrap with um, stuff, in it. stuff inside it. Yeah. Including apparently fries, like I think there's actually chips inside like what looks like a kebab type thing. Yeah, bread. basically, except we got distracted and um, <laughs> so now I'm having Nutella on crepes. When in, when in Greece, you should always still have a French crepe. <laughs> That's good. Mm-hmm. Ready, Rumble? I'm ready. I can't get over that's how you choose your pasta. That's so cool. Oh, these ones. You probably only get one. How do you even get them in your mouth? They just, yeah, you probably only just do one pasta and that's it, your dinner's done. I can't get over how, um, how chocolate this is. This is crazy. This is nuts. This is the result of it being windy. And look, we have to cross that way. I don't think we're meant to walk along here. <laughs> <laughs> I cannot emphasize how windy Mykonos is. It's insane. <laughs> Look at this ocean. This is the walkway. We're just getting splashed like crazy right now. This is nuts. Imagine having your dinner right there. I'm a bit concerned that I'm going to get washed out to sea. <laughs> I got you, babe. Don't worry. <laughs> That's saying the average wind speed is 42 kilometers an hour and the gusts are 60 kilometers an hour. And I'm not even joking, it is consistently windy. You probably can't even hear what I'm saying. Um, can I please have a um, pita gyros? <laughs> Do you reckon I can get that on the plane? <laughs> Sweet home. 
You have to excuse the mess. We've, we've been living here for five days, so. <laughs> yeah, this is a miracle that it's still like semi presentable. I think it looks great. Oh, it's just the coolest place. It's like so Flintstones. Like everything is just wood and round, and like this, for instance, is the mini bar. So this place is like the size of a car garage. It's definitely not two car garages wide, but that's a bed. Uh, that's a regular double bed and then you've got in here the shower so it's not very wide but it is very cool and you have a little chill zone over here these i'm just so obsessed with the decor of it all like these cushions are so cool it's nice and then you come up here obviously the bed this is the shower i find this weird it's like not much privacy but it's like Doo -doo -doo -doo. <laughs> like shaving my legs over here <laughs> And then uh, I've messed this up pretty badly. This is all Pierre's stuff, by yeah, the way. Sorry, sorry, sorry. And this, check this out. That's the tap. It's like two stones. It's really brilliantly designed. I really like it. And back here is just our explosion of things. A little wardrobe area. The use of space here is really good. Oh, it's so comfortable. And then too. looking out the window, there you've got the little spa. And then coming out of the front door, you've still got a bit of privacy. And then that is the main front door here, which kind of takes you out to this. <laughs> I think it's time to call it a day. I think so. <laughs> so, if you liked today's vlog, make sure you like it, leave it a like, and let us know in the comments below where you want us to travel to next. Weirdest camera angle ever. <laughs>